everybody. Hello, I'm Joanna. And I'm James. And today we're here to show you the rumba one. So this is one of the modern sequence dances. In fact, it's a lovely rumba. If you already know some basic rumba, a lot of the actions that you dance in this uh, develop from basic actions. So it's good to have in your vocabulary. Great for practicing really fundamental basic actions in your normal rumba. I think this came from the 70s, uh, a gentleman called Pete Varley and a uh, really good sequence has stood the test of time very popular in the ballrooms today so i hope you'll get it going with us hey let's Shall start make a little start yeah so we're going to set up for the moment we've only got our small space here we're going to set up facing across the screen so if you face the same way as us and we're going to take our normal latin hold to start normal latin hold like this a little bit of space between us now for your rumba we really like good timing in the rumba don't we joanna we like, Certainly. We like to be on time so we're actually going to start it on the two because the script in this dance starts with beat two. Normally we might start our rumba with a little preparation step. So if you want to count on one, you can just do a little weight change on one if you want to. Leaders, we're going to start now left foot forward, followers right foot back for the first part of a rumba basic. By the way, review the basic rumba video if you want to because it's got lots of good hints and tips in it too. We're going to start with that step and replace, followers back, leaders forward for step, replace, and then as we take a step to the side, leaders onto the left, followers onto the right, we're going to lift the hand and prepare to dance an alamana turn, that's a turn under the arm, slow. So there we go, we're preparing leaders, you're beginning to release the right hand, followers now you're going to do your turning action underneath the arm for quick, quick and slow. Now at this point we've chosen to take a double hand hold. I think in the original script it was actually a normal hold. So um, you can have a little option there if you want to, but have a look around your ballrooms when you're dancing it and see what the trend is, because I think the modern trend now is to take a double hand hold. Then we're going to dance from shoulder to shoulders. Leaders, you're dancing left foot forward and replace, a little bit towards the outside of the partner. Followers, you're dancing right foot back and replace. Step replace we take a side step making a quarter turn side and then we repeat that same action in the other direction so leaders right foot forward and replace followers left foot back and replace step replace and side we're going to do one more of those look just like the first one so we'll be good at this one and step replace and side right we're going to rewind we're going to go from the beginning so we started with our normal latin hold getting ready to dance our nice rumba and we're going to start on beat two. So leaders left foot forward, followers right foot back for the step and replace. Step, replace, side. We're preparing to lead the Alamana turn. So you're picking the hand up leaders and you're taking it over the top of the follower's head. Followers, you make your turn. Step, step, and side. So there we're taking our nice double hand hold. We're preparing to step outside partner leaders. These are called shoulder to shoulders. We're gonna dance three of them. It starts leaders left, followers right for step, replace, and side, and step, replace, side. One more time, step, replace, and side. Pretty good, let's do that from the beginning once more. So it's leaders, left foot, followers right foot, step, replace, and step, replace, side. Lift the hand, step, step, side. And outside partner for the first time, side. Second time, side. Last time, side. On the last one, you might have noticed, we haven't stayed truly parallel with each other. We've actually just opened out a little bit into a promenade position with our double handhold because we're going to dance a fencing step. Fencing step is a little bit like a New York, if you know your New Yorks, where we step forward and replace but as we do, we're going to soften the front knee in a little bit of knee flex. It's check, replace. And then we're going to take our side step together. Side. And we're going to finish this section with a spot turn. So a spot turn, we're going to glue our feet to the spot. We're going to swivel. Leader's left foot, follower's right foot. It's forward. Turn all the way around from each other. Forward. And then we're going to take a side step. Side. At this point, we'll have a new hold all together and we're going to take a right-to-right -right hand hold. Okay, quite a lot going on there, isn't there? Let's have a review from the beginning again. So we started our normal Latin hold. It's leader's left foot forward, follower's right foot back. We've got two, three, four, one for the turn. Two, three, four, one. There's our double hand hold. Three shoulder-to-shoulders. 
two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now into the promenade position, and we're ready to do our fencing step. A forward and replace, soft knees. Two, three, four, one. Into the spot turn. Two, three, four, one. So we finished, hopefully. Same partner in front of you, all being well. We've got the right to right hand hold. If you want to be stylish, you can put the other hand out to the side. Okay, we'll do that one more time, and then we'll have a look at the next bit. Don't forget, if rumba is very new for you, and you haven't done much rumba before, have a little look at the basic videos, because that'll give you a bit of a hints and tips of the basic bits. So there's leaders left, followers right, step replace, and two, three, four, one. Lift the hand, two, three, double hand hold, one, and two. Three, three of these, there's the first, two, there's the second, four, one, two, three, four, then the fencing step, two, three, four, spot turn, two, three, four, one. Did you make it? Should Excellent. we do one more time? Let's do one more. One more time for a little bit of practice, that's always good. Ready, and two, three, four, she turns, two, three, four, one. And two, three, four, one. Second time, three, four, one. Last time, three, four. Fencing step, two, three, four. Spot turn, two, three, four, one. Oh, we've made it. Excellent, are you there? Brilliant. So from here, we're going to dance uh, three walks backwards for the leaders and three walks forwards for the followers. Um, and we're going to curve them a little bit, taking your right shoulder back, leaders. Mm -hmm. So we finished, uh, leaders with your weight on your left foot and followers on your right foot, so the opposite foot is free. We're going to use that foot to walk that direction, so leaders backwards, followers forwards. So we dance two, three, four, one. So three walks, they will stay opposite each other. Then we're going to dance three walks, so leaders forwards, backwards, forwards. And followers backwards, forwards, backwards. And two, three, four, one. So during this action, you don't have to move your feet at all, just change weight three times. And now we're going to go back with our walks where we came from. So curving walks, this time followers backwards, leaders forward. So leaders start with the right foot, followers with the left. And two, three, four, one. Very good, let's uh, review those walks and rocks. So we're finishing this position. Leaders, you have your right foot free, you're going to dance backwards. Followers, you have your left foot free and you're going to dance forwards. Curving a little bit. Ready, and two, three, four, one. Now three rocks, two, three, four, one. Now walk the other direction, two, three, four, one. You good? Excellent, let's do it one more time. So, lead us right foot back, follow us left foot forwards, and two, three, four, one rocks, two, three, four, one walks, two, three, four, one. And then we're going to dance to cucarachas. Well, that's a great word, isn't it, a cucaracha? So we came across a cucaracha in one of our basic rumba videos. So we're just going to take a step to the side, lead us left, follow us right, and then replace back to the other foot and then close feet together and change weight. And then we're going to do the same going the other direction. So lead us to your right, follow us to the left, side, replace, bring your feet together, change weight. Okay, so this is normal count here, two, three, four, one for one cucaracha and then two, three, four, one for the other cucaracha. Let's just dance those. Lead us with your left, follow us with the right and Two, three, four, one, change weight. Two, three, four, one, change weight. So at the end of that, leaders, you should have your left foot free, follow us your right. That was lucky, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Lovely. Right, let's start from the walks. So we finished in this position after the first section. Leaders, you have your right foot free, follow us left, and we're going to um, walk backwards for the leaders, forwards for the followers, curving our walks. Ready? And two, three, four, one. Now rocks. Two, three, four, one. Now walk the other way. Two, three, 
four, one, cucaracha, two, three, four, one, the other way, two, three, four, one. Did you make it? Let's just repeat that section one more time. I'm going to move it a little bit to the screen. Okay, so lead this right foot back, follow us left foot forwards, and walk, two, three, four, one, rock, two, three, four, one, walks, two, three, four, one, kikaracha, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And that's all there is to it, to this mm, section. Right. Leaders, make sure you end up with your left foot free, followers, with your right foot free. Okay. Right, we've got one more little bit to do, and then we're at the end. <gasps> so you nearly made it, everybody. So maintaining the same hold for the moment, we're going to dance a side, close, side. Leaders, left foot, followers, right foot, for side, close, side. Now, as we take the side step, we're going to be very sneaky. We're going to make a little turn, so we end up in our promenade position. Change completely to take a shadow hold. Okay, so we're in our shadow position there. We've both got the inside foot free, so the leader's right and the follower's left. Leader, you've got your right hand on the follower's left shoulder blade there. Okay, so side, close, side, but doing some things with the hands. That always makes it more complicated, doesn't it? So it's leader's left foot, follower's right foot, side, close, side. Here we go. Side, close, side, change the hold. Did you make it? One more time. Ready, and. Side, close, change the hold. So fortunately, we've finished on a slow, okay, it's four and one. So we've got a little bit of time there to do our nice step, change our position and change the hold. If you could pat your head and rub your tummy at the same time, that would be great. Now from here, we're just gonna back up a little bit so we've got a bit more room to show you in this orientation. We're going to dance six forward rumba walks for one, two, three, and four, Five, six. <laughs> Not quite fitting. Normally we would have fitted in one in that space, but we'll try and get in our six again. So it's the inside foot. Yeah, we'll do three to start off with. And one, two, three. Pretend we're not going to move at this point. Come on, Joanna, we'll head back. And now we're going to use the outside foot to do three more. One, two, three. From that position, all we need to finish off is a spot turn. So leaders, you're going to release with your right hand, push with your left. Followers, you can give a little push off with your left hand. And we're going to turn our spot turn. One, two, three. So three steps as we go around for count. Two, three, four, one. And then we're ready to go from the very beginning. Okay? Yay! So that last little bit, one more time. From the end of our cooker arches, remember we had a right to right hand hold. And we did a side, close, side, changing the hold, patting the head, rubbing the tummy was optional there, I think. And side, close, side, changing the hold. Three forward walks first, inside foot. One, two, three. We're going to rewind a little bit. And now it's with the outside foot. Leaders left, followers right. Four, five, six. Then we finish with a spot turn. Quick, quick slow to regain our normal Latin hold. And that's back to the beginning. Okay, one more time. And then we'll try and put the whole lot together. So at the end of our quicker arches, we're ready to do our progressive side step. Here we go. And side, close, side. Three walks. One, two, three. We're going to rewind. Four, five, and six. Four, five, six. Six, and then round we go for the turn, quick, quick, slow. And that is all there is to it. You've made it to the very end with us. <gasps> very good. Wow. Right, let's put a whole lot together, shall we? I think that'll be good. So should we reorientate a little bit to do that? Yes, for our space reasoning here, we're going to go across the screen. Mm. So we're going to start from this end. So at this point, leaders, you'll see a little bit more, but then we're going to go the other direction. So, leaders left foot forwards, followers right foot back, for the count of two. Ready, and two, three, four, one. She turns under, two, three, four, one. Now shoulder to shoulders, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
four, one last one, two, three, four, one. Now fencing step and a spot turn. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Here we have one to one hand holds, right to right hand. Lead as you're going down, your curving walks backwards, starting with the right foot, followers, left foot forwards. And two, three, four, one. Rocking, two, three, four, one. Now walks again, two, three, four, one. Two good crutches, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Excellent, so that was the second section. Now the last bit, progressive side step, six walks forwards and a spot turn. Lead us to the left, follow us to the right, and two, three, four, one. Changing hold and walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a very small spot turn. Two, three, four, one. Taking your normal hold. Did you make it? <gasps> Were you out in the garden or did it fit? <laughs> Hopefully you managed to make it fit. Maybe we should do that bit uh, <laughs> around the garden. Right, let's go the other direction. So, lead us left, follow us right. Are you ready? You are. Okay. Excellent. Ready, and two, three, four, one. Turn under. Two, three, four, one. Shoulder to shoulders. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Fencing step and a spot turn. Two, three, four, one. Turning. Two, three, four, one. Right to right hand hold here, and now lead us curving backwards. And two, three, four, one. Rocks, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two good crutches, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Side step, two, three, four. Changing the hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten round. Two, three, four, one. Excellent. How did you get on? Did you fit it in? Mm, hope so, yes. <laughs> if your space is much smaller, just dance it in pieces, in sections, and learn it in sections, and then just try to put two sections together. So section one and two, and then maybe section two and three, rather than dancing the whole lot, uh, if you can't fit it in. Um, or try to curve it around your coffee table mm. or around your island, if you have one in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> or really go out to the garden. Right. Would you like us to do that, Joanna? To the garden? No. <laughs> <laughs> the camera is not going to follow us. Um, but we're going to uh, curve it, the last section, the walks, um, around our little corner, and then we dance it the opposite direction straight away. Mm -hmm. So we start this end, and then hopefully by the time we finish, we'll be on that side of the room, facing the other way around. Okay, so but I'm gonna curve my six walks. Yes, we're not All changing right. any steps, we're just curving them round the corner. Wish me luck, no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> you do. Okay, lead us left, follow us right from the beginning, and quick, quick, slow, Aleman. Quick, quick, slow, shoulder to shoulders. Quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Last one, quick, quick, slow. Fencing step, quick, quick, slow. Spot turn, quick, quick, slow. Now curving walks, quick, quick, slow. Rocking, quick, quick, slow. Walking again, quick, quick, slow. Two good garages, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Side step, quick, quick, Slow, and now we walk and curve. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Spot turn. Quick, quick, slow. And here, we start again, and we'll go the other direction. Are you ready for it? Okay, orientate yourself if your ballroom didn't um, have the same shape as our ballroom. So orientate yourself this way around, and off we go again. Lead us left, follow us right. And quick, Quick, slow, turn under. Quick, quick, slow. Shoulder to shoulders. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Last one. Quick, quick, slow. Fencing step. Quick, quick, slow. Turn. Quick, quick, slow. Right, right, and hold. Curving. Quick, slow. Quick, 
quick, slow. The other way, quick, quick, slow. Two good garachas, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Side step, quick, quick, slow. Changing hold and walk. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Spot turn, quick, quick, slow. Some very sneaky steering going on there, wasn't it, to keep it going? <laughs> So you can really curve that quite tightly. It normally isn't as difficult to curve around, but if we're gonna practice it in our small space like that and keep it going, it's a really good skill to be able to do. Once you get into a bigger space, you'll find it much easier. I have to say, this is a little bit small for dancing our rumba one, but we're gonna make do, and it's just fine for practicing, isn't it? It is. Right, I suppose. Music. Yeah, should we try with the music? So we're gonna get set up in this direction. Start with our normal hold. So I'm going to count you in after four and the one, okay? And then we'll start on our two. So get ready for that. A few bars of introduction, and then we're off. So normally four bars of introduction. One, two, three, four. 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 There. Changing for the walks, remember to curve them. And spot turn. Two, three, start again. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Shoulder to shoulders, there's the first. Second. Third. Fencing. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Yes. I like this bit. <laughs> Side step, into the walks, curve them. Spot turn, see if we can do another one. Fencing step. everybody i hope you enjoyed the rumba one as i said i think it's a lovely lovely sequence dance to practice your basic rumba in it's got a nice feel to the music as well so get a bit of music on and see if you can get it going yes definitely it's a good one to practice and good to have uh, in your repertoire when we go to our ballrooms again for social dancing if forward. you enjoyed the video please give us a like or thumbs up oh yes and uh, we look forward to seeing you again in the next video come and join us soon thanks everybody Bye bye, bye.